Welcome to Fresh Fishing. Over the years, family fishing holidays have become a staple for us foxes. Easter weekend, we made the long journey down from Darlington to Cambridgeshire. We'd be staying at Headfen Country Retreat in one of their Cathedral View lodges, which has direct access to the Specimen Lake. In addition to the Specimen Lake, there are other course lakes on site which guests can access. The lodges are fully furnished, have a large kitchen dining area and come with a hot tub for you to soak in. Make sure to hit the like button and click the subscribe button if you don't already. Enjoy the vlog. Alright, we are just settling in. And you can see a bit of a mess out here. You can actually fish from here, but we're going to fish from down there. Out to there. So just getting the rods all set up. And then we can chill. So here we are in uh, at Head Fen Country Retreat and uh, we are in one of the cathedral lodges as you can see, lovely and the good thing about this is bosh, straight out of there you're on the reservoir lake which has got the bigger fish in there's a few lakes on site, I'll obviously show you them over the course of this vlog Dad is through there, you can just see him so, kind of got all this hot tub and kind of chill out area you've got a sauna in there and uh, yeah rods are down there and yeah fish in there as you can see very very windy I'll go back inside so it's Friday now we've just turned up it's quarter to three um, the missus and my mum are out with the kids at the minute and then yeah we're just going to chill and uh, hopefully the rods go we're saying we're not going to like really go out the fishing and um, we're going to try and get out uh, a couple of days and go and see see everywhere see see what's round here um, go into the local town and whatnot it is also worth mentioning that you can't fish nights so you can only fish dusk till dawn so that's what we're going to be doing and yeah if we get any fish it's a bonus if not it's a nice little easter weekend trip away and it is just worth a shout out to the guys here um, they actually arranged a little easter egg hunt when we arrived for the kids which was quite nice so yeah, fingers crossed we can get into a few and uh, we'll have a good time. So there's the man, the myth, the legend, Omar, rocking his fresh fish and being in his DNA hoodie. Just thought I'd give you a quick tour. So yeah, obviously we've got the deck in, little seating area, sauna, uh, sauna there, sorry, hot tub, and yeah, you kind of undercover, which is nice. And then you got a little freezer, sink area, oven. Bridge, microwave, kettle, sofa area, dining area, telly, little puffet for your feet, and then just a cupboard in there. Then we've got two bedrooms. So this is kind of the, I think, a slightly bigger one. Uh, quite a nice size. And then. This one, just in there, similar size to be fair. Telly in both rooms actually, and then just a little bathroom in there. So shower. So yeah, nice digs for the weekend. For the long weekend, I should say. And away. First one since Christmas, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I was telling me why you love this since Christmas. Has it not? Oh, wow. Oh, 
Well, we'll, we'll see if I get it in first. It's, it's probably a trout. It does feel a bit. <laughs> it does feel a bit weird, you know. Hey. Oh no, it's a little car. Do you want the net? Yeah, go on. Alright, it's only a wee in. Yeah. There we go. Get in. There we go. He's sticking his dorsal fin up at the top to make it look nice and angry. Yeah, little one. He's probably about eight pounds, something like that. Seven, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, happy days. We got one on the bank. First of many, hopefully. Hi, Grandpa. Grandpa! What? Hi. Okay. Hello, mate. Hey. Um, this, this is brother. And that is my baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> madhouse. Absolute madhouse. Alright, Luca. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> A carp, probably. A golden carp. A golden carp. Is this catch? Or a fish? It's a fur like that. A long way out, isn't it? Yeah. So. Anything which is a fishy. Listen to Caleb's extensive knowledge. <laughs> wow. I'm right, go on, Cal. Scoop it. Oh my God. Good work, lad. Stroke a fishy. Stroke it. Oh! Is it a bit? Right, there we go. Ten pound. <laughs> From the margins up the left hand side. After we move one of the rods on a snowman rig. There we go, well done, Dad. Get a photo quick. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. Get a photo. Bye bye, fishy. Look. Yeah, you're in. Is that the long way you've just moved it? Yeah. <clears throat> How's it feel? So we're in again. Just inside and we saw... Um, I was looking out and I could see some fish topping over down by that pergola. And uh, just stuck a rig out there. Five minutes later, it's off. It feels similar. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Another one in the net. In the net. In the net. In the net. Bosh, in the net. <laughs> there we go. Probably actually about ten, isn't it? Probably, yeah. I haven't weighed it, but yeah, nine or ten. And uh, yeah. Straight after a show, wasn't it? Straight after a show, five minutes later, literally put it on it, and uh, now we're going to go eat a Chinese. Chinese done. <laughs> and you good, Dad, what are you saying? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Nice drop of Chinese. Happy house. Happy called. house? Yeah. yeah. Is it a happy house? Yeah. The Chinese? Happy slappy. <laughs> and as you can see, you know, it's dark pretty well. much dark, so we're going to bring the rods in in a sec. Because there's no night fishing allowed. So that's it, the, uh, the rods are in. But football's going to be on in a sec, and I'm just making up some solid bags. Focus. Some solid bags for tomorrow in the morning. Come on, Leeds. We are going to be going to bed in a minute. Been outside in the hot tub, had a little chill, had a beer, watched the Leeds game. Not the best result, but hey ho. 
but a 90 night from us and then we're going to get up early going to get the rods in whilst we make breakfast and stuff but then we're going to be going into the local town so I'm going to have a bit of Dell tomorrow so I'll catch you in the morning good morning peeps time now 27 you can't see that there but 27 and Need to get some rods out. It's quite windy. Dad's got two rods out. I've got one out because my one of mine messed up. So I'm gonna go and do that, and then we're gonna get breakfast on. Morning dip in the hot tub. Call me Jamie Oliver. Huh? Said so call me Jamie Oliver. Oh. <laughs> Good pawn. Do you want to get cushion though? Just as I was about to sit and eat my breakfast, and Dad started his. He's in. Gritting his teeth. He was just having breakfast. I just, I've just said that. <laughs> it feels. Feels better. All right, yeah. go a breakfast 13 and a half in it yeah 13, 1306 it 1306 was. common um, on the snowman rig down the uh, left hand side halfway up the lake again Good great stuff. stuff yeah time to pull the rods in because we're gonna go out and check out Ely the town area so rods are about to come in and it is 10 o'clock Say first, uh, welcome. Careful with him there. Welcome careful. to Flash Fishing. Right. My name's Caleb. I'm and who are you? And, and we want to put it in the water. We've come down to Snakes Lake, haven't we? Yeah. To do a little bit of right fishing with you down. boys. Hopefully we can catch some stuff. Fish! Fish! The rod up, keep the rod up. Keep it up. Keep winding it, hold it tight. Hold it tight. Ready up, let Grandad hold Grandad's hand. Wait. Got to lift it right up. Okay, you help me with the net, Luca. Wind it in a bit more, that's it. That's it, stop, stop, stop. It's my fish, what I call. Yeah, well, you get it up. <laughs> Hang on. Ready? Hold it high. There. Yes. Right, step back. Grandad's in now. Who's in? Grandad. We've got one in the net. We've just got this one out. Carnage. <laughs> you gonna touch it? I'll touch it, touch it. You gonna touch it? Okay. Do you wanna hold it? No. Touch you gonna it touch then. it? Can you go and touch it? No. Just give it a little stroke. I don't want to. Okay. And there's a bigger one, look. 
Go, Jim. Oh. <laughs> we better put them back, haven't we? Get the rods back away. Yeah. So yeah, as I said before, we're down on Snakes Lake, and it's a oh, carnage. Um, Look, we've just got a rod each, me and Dad, and then a rod for the lads. Papa. And we're just trying to get a few little carp on the bank just for a bit of fun. But yeah, it's hard work. Yeah. What? Smell. But we've already had two, so happy days. Cavalry have arrived to help us with the kiddie winkles. Hopefully we can get a couple more and then we'll go back to the uh, digs. Oh, Omar's in oh, another little one. It's just saying you forget how, how hard the small ones fight. Wow. That's um out of the uh, snake lake and it's probably, I don't know, seven or eight pounds, isn't it? Look at his tail. Yeah. It's missing half oh, his tail. Yeah, he's got a bit of a deformed tail. tail. You're gonna there we go. Doggy like <laughs> Touching. Yeah. Should we put him back in? Yeah. Yeah, put him back in. Turn it, Luca. No, no, don't, don't turn the heart. Turn this. Turn it round. Wait, no, no, no. This. Wait. Finish. Look, Luca, listen to Daddy. You do it. Luca, do it. No, no. <laughs> that was. <laughs> This one, this one. Ready? That's not it. No. Look at him again. Oh, you got it. You got it. Yay! Lucas' first fish. Yeah. <laughs> He's going. Oh. Hold it. Hold it. Come on then, Luca. Hold, hold it. it. Luca. What have you got, Luca? Luca. Hold it. <laughs> Luca. Hold what have you got? Oh, Luca's holding it. <laughs> Come on, both yeah, hands. Both man. hands. Luca, look at mummy. Look at mummy. Show me. What have you caught? Luca, what have you got? <laughs> Fishy. Fishy. <laughs> Here we go. Couple, what, how long were we there for? About an hour and a half. Probably, yeah, about, about that. It's 20 past four now, so uh, yeah. Bagged a couple of carp. Boys are happy, and we're heading back up to the digs now. So it'll be a case of getting the rods out and seeing what we can do till it gets dark. You're in. Again, we've just reset the rods and put them in for five o'clock and it's ten past five and the first one's gone so good stuff feel like small small she's in yep. there we go eight pound five looks like a little croatian one because it's like a dinner plate Freezing cold, but yeah, I only had the rod in 20 minutes and it's gone. We'll change that one to a snowman because Dad's had a few on a snowman, and there we are. Happy days. It's got a bit of a mark on its side there. Yeah, we'll uh, sort Treat that out. That. He lost it. He lost it. I've just been playing with the kids. Yeah, he'll run and he's lost it. Really built into watch. He's a good fish, I think, as well. Dinner is served. Caleb's favourite. What are you eating, Caleb? What are you having? You need to pause it. All right, I will. What are you having? Yeah, but whatever. Bon appetit. Sunset now. Just about getting dark. Light on this camera is good, so we've probably got about 20 minutes before I pull them in. 
nothing since Dad lost that fish. So hopefully we can get one just before it goes dark. Time to pull the rods in. Oh! I haven't been yet. Oh! You haven't been where? Because we got up early. You haven't been where? Because we got up early on the first morning, I have not been able to go to the toilet yet properly. <laughs> <laughs> right, time for a bit of hot tub action. Hot tub time machine. Well, good morning. Um, it is Easter Sunday, so kids are going to start the day with an Easter egg hunt. So the missus has sort this. And then there's a lot of hunt. So here they come. You ready, boys? Yeah. My favourite. What is it? Ghost spider one. Oh my goodness. Luca, look at Daddy. Is that chocolate nice? There we go. Dad's just putting the last rod out. The owner come to service this this morning. And we were just chatting to him. Two sets. The owner came to service the um, hot tub. I'm just chatting to him, and he was telling us a bit about the lake. And um, I said to him about like night fishing. I said, "Oh, it's a shame we can't night fish." And he basically said, "Oh, you just can if you want." So um, he said they they kind of don't normally allow it, um, but he said basically tonight we can keep the rods out which is decent but he was telling us a little bit about the lake as well so there's actually catfish in there um, I think he said he put 10 catfish in which will have obviously spawned he reckons there's a, a 42 pounder in there now that's the late record um, so yeah there's some definitely some big ones to be had obviously we've been having quite small ones so far but hopefully we can get a few of them bigger ones today it would be nice so yeah we'll just have to see I don't know what the plan is for today just yet but yeah just thought I'd update you on that time to get breakfast soon Dad was on the toilet, so I took it and uh, yeah, a little ten pounder mirror, first one of the day. So unfortunately, um, Dad had a run and it's got into the reeds and he couldn't get it out because we're fishing quite far out. So yeah, he's lost another one unfortunately. So uh, I've had the one this morning where he was on the toilet and it should have been his, and then. Um, yeah, that one's just come off, but we've had nothing else since. But I think the plan is we're going to get ready and we're going to go out for a few hours. Um, go off and there's a nature park near us. So we're going to go there, nature reserve, I think, with birds and stuff. So we're going to go there and uh, see what's going on there, entertain the kids for a bit, and then back and, and fishing. So that's the plan. at the digs after a little trip out and uh, we've been putting the rods out and off we've gone straight away. What does it feel like? Oh yeah. Has it not got his head up yet? No. Back of the net. So yeah just uh, just doing a bit of kitchen duties and uh, the rod went off after we just put it in it's probably a seven, eight pound common, something like that. Yeah. Just the job. Movie time in the lodge. <coughs> what are we watching? The Encanto. Woohoo! What Look is he there. doing down there? Oh, come on. Look. No time. around your mouth, you feral child. <laughs> and what are we cooking, Mum? Uh, what? Got a roast on the go. Look, Amazing crisps. German crisps, if anyone knows.
Thanks. And we're off again. Not the same rod that we just put back in one. It is. Oh, it is, is it? Yeah. Of course it is, yeah, yeah. Oh. That one up by the swing there, yeah? No, I, I've come short of that now. Right, okay. It's in that second divot. Yeah. We're hoping that this might be uh, at least a, a, a double-ish. Don't think Upper so. double-ish. I don't think so. We've, we've had um, quite a lot of seven, eights, pasties as, as, as people call them. There's supposed to be a lot of bigger fish in here, but we ain't seeing them. It's apparently 42. Mm -hmm. But then we were talking to the owner this morning and he said um, he was pleased that we've been catching from this bottom end, bottom end because nobody would caught from here since Christmas Day, which is strange. But there we go. There's always a tail. Putting up a fair scrap, this one. Ah. Oh, it's probably a little bit bigger, isn't it? Common. It's probably over 10 that, isn't it? Yeah, looks it. 10, 12-ish. Hey. There we go. We've just weighed her, and it's the biggest one yet, so calling it about 16 pounds. Lovely fish, lovely long one. And yeah, as I say, the biggest so far, so hopefully it's a sign of uh, things to come. It looks like we found a little spot there. Happy days. Tell them, them potatoes need to come off. <laughs> the what? The potatoes need to come off in a couple of minutes off the boil. Right, okay, I'll let you sort that. Your lead's outside. I think the hook just pulled out, didn't it? Was it? Yeah, as we got it in the net. Nice common, 15-1, just before we were about to uh, start sorting the dinner out. Back the other way, Luke, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's freezing cold. It really is. Do you want to take a picture? Yeah. You like that, Luca? Yeah. Tail. Yeah, a little mirror, yeah. Right, here we go again. Having just repositioned that rod on the run I had, literally five five minutes if that, it went again. A little seven or eight pounder. Freezing cold. Let's get her back. I'm wearing again. Eight to ten again. Eight to right. nine. Battery just ran out, so I didn't get him netting it. Got ten. Another one, and that one was up the right-hand margin. Got three off that spot now. Three off that spot now, yeah. Off on the snowman rig again, wasn't it? Uh, no, it wasn't on the pop-up. Yeah, yeah. Orange pop-up. Yeah, orange pop-up. There we go. <laughs> Do you like apple sauce, Cal? Yeah, yeah. It's delicious, isn't it? It's yeah. So we've just been on a nice little walk around the lake with the boys and the dog. And we're just back now. Got the rods back out. Before the kids are going to be going down soon. So we've just had a double run, so we've got one in the net and then the left hand rod over here started to go so this one looks 
like the uh, same kind of stamp that we've been having. I'll sort dogs in a minute, I'm going to try and hook this in the net. Swam into the net. There we go then, double take, this is the result. We weighed dads because it was a little bit bigger, what was it? 13.12. 13, 13.12, 13, so yeah we need to get the rods back out. Happy days. Good stuff. One more smile. Here we go, another one in the net. Um, didn't actually record uh, playing the fish, but it's the same rod, same spot, just a smallie, another six or seven pounder, I think, something like that. Yeah, I'm not even going to get it out, I don't think. Should we just look at it in the net? Yeah. There he is, yeah. It's only a small one. We'll put that one straight back in, probably. As you can see, uh, pulling the rods in now. So we've decided that we're not going to fish the night because um, we've had, I think we've had nine today in total. Yeah, the average stamps eight, nine pound. So we're just thinking, if it's that waking you up in the middle of the night, CBA. So pulling them in. Got the cabin till about 12, so get the rods out in the morning for a bit, see if we can get anything bigger. But yeah, pulling them in now. Hiya. Hiya. Good morning. <laughs> Dad's redoing the rods this morning. Need to start packing up and that soon, mum's in the hot tub. Kids are watching a bit of telly before breakfast. It's our last few hours here. Isn't it done? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, last few hours here. Oh, look at the state of that. Um, we've just put a couple of rods out each. We've just said, rather than sharing them, we'll take our own each this morning, just to see what happens if they go. At least we've both got a chance of getting into something. And yeah, we'll be uh, packing up and getting away shortly. Um, breakfast and that, a little bit of a chill, and then we'll be away. Long drive home. So keep you updated if we get into anything. Look at this. It's a nice dressing gown, Dad. <laughs> yeah, it's my daughter in law. What does it say? <laughs> Mrs. Fox. <coughs> well, you got the name right. What does it feel like? Yeah, it's a long way off, isn't it? That's the problem. It feels quite heavy, though, isn't it? Not heavy ish. Expertly done. There we go. Possibly the last fish of the session for me because uh, uh, just had this on the uh, left hand side on the snowman rig from the same spot as I've had most of the fish from the last couple of days. And uh, I'm leaving the rod out now, so um, seven or eight pound maybe. Last one. There we go. Oh, recycling. You've been doing the recycling. Well, as you can see, getting all packed away, nearly packed down, and the rod's just about to come out. And that's all she wrote. What a lovely time away. With another Fox family fishing holiday done, we can't wait for the next one.
which will be a visit to Disneyland with some fishing thrown in. So watch out for that coming to the channel around June time. If you enjoyed the vlog, please hit the like button. If you don't already, click the subscribe button and then click the alert bell so you get notified when we post any new content. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.